Now we're joined in the studio by Andrew Bernstein. He's an educator and historian of fashion and style and also an associate professor at Lynn University, the site of the big debate. You obviously take a different look, maybe a different perspective when it comes to looking at the candidates on the debate stage. Talk about what you look for and also how quickly you can see it. Well, Dan, we look for really somebody who's really classically dressed, somebody has, that has the idea of style and our candidates today, our president and uh, governor, they really have, they both look great. They have poise, they have style. And I think both candidates want to have the appearance of being a statesman. Mm -hmm. And obviously our president is and governor has been in his state. They both want to, they're poised to go and have that look, that style. You see a little bit of gray in their hair, just a touch on both of them, but they really want to convey to America that they are a statesman and somebody who really can do the job and be a leader. And talk about some of the specific things. You brought in a couple of things here in the studio today. Talk about specific items that we may or may not see these particular candidates wear. Well, the club tie, the stripe tie that you see is something that the governor has been wearing. It seems like he loves it in blue, he loves it in red, and this is what we call traditionally a club tie. And that really means that throughout history in England and the United States, this is traditionally worn by um, people, men, who uh, belong to a club or an organization, maybe Harvard, maybe Yale, maybe in England they belong to uh, society, maybe even being part of the Knights uh, Guard for the Queen. And this is something that they wear, again, it's a male society. It means that they are really, again, in power, tradition, and something that uh, leadership. So you have that tie there. You also have a, a, another traditional tie, more of a solid color. Uh, talk about that one briefly, and then you also have one that's <laughs> right. very different on this. Well, this, this is something here. that we've seen in that the president's worn. Um, blue, which is obviously blue states, blue color, the blue, you know, meaning for the Democratic Party, the red more traditionally for the Republican Party. But the president's been wearing very solid ties with a really small pin dot to really give it that emphasis or give it a little bit of a poof in it. And uh, he hasn't been going with the stripes, something really more classic and really solid. That one, I, this last one, I don't see any of the candidates no. coming across with this. With the I just brought this in. I, I collect uh, ties and some traditional ties and also not so traditional. And here's a tie that uh, throughout history you see uh, uh, Democratic candidates, you see Coolidge, you see Roosevelt, you see uh, the buttons and pins that they would wear. And this might be something that you wear during debate season as more of a joke and something that would get somebody's attention, maybe even get them out and vote. And lastly, just kind of wrap up talking about the importance of appearance when it comes to these televised debate. We saw in history back in the 1960s that Nixon-Kennedy debate that really did have a big impact. You can see it right there on your screen. That first televised debate really set the stage, so to speak, for how appearance plays into it, a big e role. Exactly. Kennedy, even though it was black and white, Kennedy looked so regal. He looks very businesslike. He looks that he has a leadership and statesmanship quality. The senator uh, doesn't look so much. Mr. Nixon looks sweaty. He had sweat. Um, he put on makeup. It wasn't even. He, his his uh, suit was not fitting as well. So really, in this debate, one of our first, really goes totally to the president, President Kennedy. And this really started it for us when we got into color, that people were really looking for things like this, the dress, the style, um, you know, just going to an event and looking and acting presidential and having that leadership quality. So we'll be listening to what the candidates are saying tomorrow night, also looking to see what they're wearing. What color how tie. They All right. Thank you very much. Thanks, Andrew Dan. Bernstein, he's with Lynn University, certainly knows his stuff. We'll be right back thank after you. the break.